Hi, welcome to another video. The progress of LLM releases has slowed down quite a bit over the past few days. I was waiting for the Claude 3.5 Opus model, but what we got is still good. So, there have been two main releases. The first one was the NVIDIA Nematron launch, which claims to outperform the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. I'll be dropping a video about it today as well, so stay tuned for that because there are some interesting results. Anyway, this video isn't about that. It's about another model launched by Mitral called Ministral. There are two models in this launch, a 3B model and an 8B model. These new models also support function calling and have a 128K context length, which is great to see. They've also shared benchmarks, and if we look at them, you can see that the 8B model performs similarly to Llama 3.1, while the 3B model performs significantly better than Llama 3.2. However, that's not a big deal since Llama 3.2 is a catastrophic model. In multilingual MMLU, both models perform significantly better than their counterparts, which is good. In GSM 8K, it also performs similarly to other models. Now, if you remember my previous video on Mitral, you'll know that they can't be trusted with benchmarks for specific reasons. And the same goes here because they've added a benchmark called Knowledge and Common Sense, which isn't even a benchmark. It's like they made it up, which is just bad. I mean, why does Mitral do this every time? Anyway, don't trust these benchmarks. They're just for manipulation. You can also check out the Instruct Model benchmarks. They're fine, but we'll test them ourselves and see. Now, for the bad part. The 3B model isn't open source. Only the 8B model is open source. And even though it's open source, it's still under the Mistral Research License, which means you can use it for free for personal purposes. But for commercial use, you need to get a license from them. The 3B model is only available through their API and not open source, as I mentioned earlier. So that's a bit disappointing as well. I'm not sure what to make of that. One thing I did like is this meme here. It looks kind of cool. The model also isn't available on a llama yet, because it seems these models have a different architecture that isn't supported. But anyway, let's get on with the testing. So, these are the 13 questions I'm going to test it against. I'll only be testing the 8B model since that's the only one available openly. Meanwhile, the 3B is only available through their API. We'll go one by one. The first question is, what is the capital city of the country whose name ends with Leah? The answer should be Canberra or any country capital that rhymes with Laia. Let's send it and see. Here are the answers, and as you can see, it doesn't answer correctly. So. This one's a fail. The next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and as you can see, it's not correct either. So, this one's a fail as well. The next question is, there are five people in a house, A, B, C, D, and E. A is watching TV with B, D is sleeping, B is eating a sandwich, and E is playing table tennis. Suddenly a call comes on the telephone, and B leaves the room to answer the call. What is C doing? The answer should be that we cannot tell what C is doing because it isn't mentioned. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this one is correct. So, this is a pass. The next question is, Name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels are ordered alphabetically. An answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is not correct either. 
So, this is a fail. The next question is, is 3307 a prime number? The answer should be yes. Let's send it and check. Here's the answer, and this is correct as well. Next question. I have two apples. Then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. This is correct. So, this one's a pass as well. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it over. Here's the answer, and this is not correct. So, this one's a fail. The next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and it's also not correct either. Let's mark it. Now, on to the coding questions. Let's start. The first one is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when clicked. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see. Here's the code. You can see the preview here, and it works pretty well. So, this one's a pass. The next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send it and check. Here's the code. If we run it, you can see that this works pretty well. So, this is also a pass. Next is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Here's the code, and this doesn't look anything like a butterfly. So, this is a fail. The next question is, create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections, header, banner, features, and contact us. Make it sleek and modern using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and check. Here's the answer. This looks pretty good. So, this is also a pass. Now the last question is, write a game of life in Python that works in the terminal. Let's send it and check. Here's the code. If we run it, you can see that it doesn't work and throws an error. So this is a fail. Now here's the final chart. As you can see, it performed really well considering its size. It's definitely a bit better than Llama 3.1 at least in coding. For instance, creating a button that explodes confetti is an issue for most smaller models. But this one handled it well. From what I can see, it has some chain of thought training. In the mathematics questions, it goes through step-by-step -step reasoning, which makes it quite superior to Llama 3.1. Yes, Quen 2.5 is better in this size and is even a billion parameters smaller. However, the issue I face with Quen 2.5 is that it's not great with cultural or general knowledge questions because, for some reason, it seems to only know the country it's from. So, I was never able to make it a good all-rounder model for personal use, and I kept using Llama 3.1. But this minstrel is something good and I think it could replace Llama 3.1 for me, while giving the same or even better results in some cases. I'll be posting the Nemotron model video later today as well, so be sure to check that out. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below, or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.